welcome to terrywilson3.com. This is the Terry Wilson, really. Uh, hey, Tony, this is Terry Wilson with terrywilson3.com. How are you? you? You personally are calling me back. Get ready to discover, develop, and monetize your skills and talents with Terry Wilson. <laughs> hey, Christopher B., this is Terry Wilson, and you are listening to terrywilson3.com. Welcome aboard, everyone. We hope you're having a wonderful week thus far. Tonight, we are talking about the number one drug in the world that is legal in all 50 states. And no, Lindsay, it's not CBD oil. Oh. What we're talking about, (laughs) it's intoxicating. It is the most powerful intoxicating uh, drug that the average American in 2018 spends more than four hours a day on. Using according to journalofaccountancy.com. So it is CBD. It's CBD. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) No, what we're talking about is the cell phone. Can you guys, can you believe that the average American spends more than four hours a day on their mobile device now? I know I do because I get a screen time report. Every Sunday morning when I'm leading worship, my (laughs) wrist goes off and it says, Your screen time report is prepared. And I'm like, (laughs) <laughs> it's a mess, but yeah, it's, I spent four hours and 58 minutes average screen time. Shame. I don't even want to talk you know, about the, how much. Shame, I'm shame. trying to figure out why in the world you look at that. <laughs> well, because it goes on my watch and I think someone's texting me and I know that it's an emergency if someone's texting me during I'm, leading yeah, worship. I don't want that to ever be sent to me because <laughs> I already feel bad enough about myself. I do not need that help. <laughs> Yeah, you're I, a loser. You were on your phone. For it. I All just think it's great that during uh, worship at her church, yeah. just reminding you. She's reminding <laughs> I know. You love your And I tell myself, Facebook. well, I, I work. While I the, work from my phone. While and the that's pastor is preaching about idols. You're saying, <laughs> no, you're, this is why you're I'm getting a message worship. from your idol. Or you're getting a message this is from the middle of the music. <laughs> I'll be, you know, all deep in worship. Oh, hold up. There's an emergency in my family because they all know I'm leading worship and they wouldn't text me if it wasn't an emergency. Oh, don't you love? Oh, no, it's my screen time report. I love text and stuff during the middle of a, something like that. Absolutely. Well, I, I went ahead and started talking to my panel, but let me introduce uh, them to you. To my left over here, we call her Miss CBD Oil because she's probably yes. the biggest <laughs> apologist for CBD oil out there. And that's Miss Lindsay Taylor. Lindsay, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm real good. And so you look relaxed. Yeah, today's you look been chill. great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, is CBD oil good for corns? Corns. Yeah, corns. 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 Yeah. What, are, like, does it hurt? <laughs> well, you know, like the stuff you eat. No, the one on your foot. I thought you were talking about cornrows. How oh. old are you? <laughs> no question. <laughs> is that already an issue? No, I, that was a joke. It sounds better than what I have. I have plantar fasciitis. Um, is that the, true? Is that the true? Is that, that is the sweaty true. palms disease? No, I got that too. But that's a whole. Not- Does it help sweaty palms? <laughs> I would say no. I would think though for your corns, I would use um, coconut oil mixed with a little bit of tea tree oil and lavender oil. That would kill any fungus that you might have down there. And fungus. the lavender is we great got fungus for fungus down there. <laughs> There's fungus among us. <laughs> I don't know what you just said. Up. It all sounded uh, very, very technical. Well, I <laughs> love oils. Oh. Oils like CBD. What oil. I'm doing right now is I'm yeah. rubbing it. Huh? Ooh. Just rubbing it. <laughs> and then I got a little like tennis ball type thing that has like some bumps on it. Have you been to the chiropractor? We're still talking about your feet, right? You should go to the chiropractor. (laughs) My back. (laughs) You should go to the chiropractor (laughs) about this. I should. Um, but he costs money, and I like money more than I do the car breaker. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Mm, uh, well, two Lindsay's right. Uh oh, funny man, all the way from oh. the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's my music. The Big man, sexy. The man that knows. My wife picked out this song, didn't she? <laughs> oh goodness. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, how you doing this week? It's not fair. I want to know something for real, though. What's that? Um, every intro, he thanks Chris B. Mm-hmm. Christopher B. Christopher B. Mm-hmm. That's right. Who is Christopher B, by the way? A guy off of Fiverr. Oh, all right. I was trying to figure out who the heck he was. I'm like, this guy keeps getting welcomed and thanked, and I've never met him. I <laughs> Chris is I like, I've be. never been it's welcomed a guy, and thanked one single time. It's a and guy that paid five bucks and says, you're listening to TerryWilson3.com. Are you ready to whatever I told him to say? Yes. Well, it was very good. You did a great job. And you just gave away some value for listening to this podcast. Exactly. Fiverr is for the, free. That's exactly the bomb diggity. 
I just used it today. As a matter of fact, you guys mm-hmm. that are coming to the conference, you're going to see uh, what? They're going to see. Fiber in action. we got brochures. <laughs> brochures and, and lanyards. lanyards. Charles says he would have said it for $3. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start a bidding war here. Who well, here's the my... problem. I've heard Charles speak, and that is not going to happen. You've got to be able to say a complete sentence and say it in a way that makes even know who Charles is? I have no idea. <laughs> he just automatically goes in. I know a guy named Charles. Know guy. We called him Boo. <laughs> That's true. Boo Simpson. <laughs> and literally sitting right across from him right in the new studio, the new TW3 studio, Mr. Reagan. <laughs> no, How are you? Because Reagan? the camera, there's nobody there. <laughs> well, that's because you don't want to be on camera. It's true. I've already found a flaw, though, with this new setup. What's that? That camera yeah. is shaking. Because I'm... Yeah. Oh, so I need, to get, desk. I need to get off the desk because I'm sitting here just... I think it's shoot. both of us. We're both kind of typing and stuff. Ah, so. well, we'll have to do something about yeah, that. We're going to stand for it. This is a learning curve. Is <laughs> well, this is the first, uh, you know, live podcast with the new stuff. So we got to figure out what we're doing and, and what we don't know because we don't know what we don't know. That's right. And we will figure it out. But guys, tonight, go ahead and send in your shout outs if you haven't sent them in already. Uh, Because Reagan will be giving those in just a little bit. Uh, Send in your questions, and we'll be answering those a little bit later in the show. If you want to win up to $300 in restaurant certificates, we're going to be giving those away at the end of the show tonight. All you have to do, if you want to sign up to win $300 in free food, and I'm talking good food, Lindsay. I'm not talking about food I cook. (laughs) I'm talking about Outback. I'm talking about Olive Garden. I'm talking about, you know, your favorite restaurants that are out there, P.F. Chang's and those types of places, then all you have to do is share this podcast right now and put the hashtag TW3Podcast357. Just share it on any social media channel that you use, whether it be Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, and uh, Reagan and River toward the end of the show starts looking for that hashtag, TW3Podcast357. We find out uh, who who put... uh, who shared the podcast, and then we're going to announce them at the end of the show and give up to $300 in restaurant certificates. And uh, you want to make sure you uh, give shout-outs to the people who invited you on the show because we give those folks, uh, our members who invite people on to the show, we give them a two-night, three-day vacation. And last week's winner was Mr. Greenbacks himself, Mr. Gary Green. He won a two-night, three-day vacation uh, certificate from us for uh, having so many people on the show last week and uh, giving him a shout out. So we always like to reward our members who stay active and stay engaged with the podcast. And Gary, by the way, speaking of Gary, speaking of greenbacks, uh, close to $10,000 last week in the TW3 call center. And uh, half of that was just on Monday of last week. And he's already starting this Monday off very, very similar. So uh, shout out to, to Greenbacks for all of his uh, good work and hard work. He's actually going to be one of the trainers uh, at the um, at the conference this week or um, next week, next weekend, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Uh, Gary's going to be uh, speaking uh, at our conference and doing some training for us uh, on how to effectively close in the call center and things like that. So if you have not registered, r- do we have any more room? I know we're shuffling things around, Chris. Yeah, we have, we probably have uh, two or three. Okay, that we can make happen if yes. we need to make happen. Yep. We're, I, we're I, close to capacity and then it would be standing room, which I don't know what we would do. Yeah, well. We're right at it. I know what, uh, I told some of the members we can take some of the speakers off the list. They're yeah. in the room, but they, that way we can satisfy any obligations we have with the hotel or anything like that. But uh, Very good idea. Because we do have a little bit of limitations there. But go ahead and send in your shout-outs, and when we get back, we'll uh, give out the shout-outs, and we'll also start answering your questions. And I'm tonight, what I'm talking about is how you can use um, mobile marketing to literally explode your business. This doesn't matter what you're in, retail, restaurant, direct sales, ministry, coaching, whatever you do. Uh, What I was reading up at the very beginning, think about it, folks. How often are you on a mobile phone? Well, your client is as well. And if you know how to reach them on that mobile device through these different technologies that we offer at TW3 and the strategies that we give you, I'm telling you, you can be like greenbacks and making 10 grand a week. You can be like a lot of our other members making five to 10 grand a week. 
It's just a matter of getting in front of people who need, want, desire, and can afford what it is you offer. And that's what TW3 offers. Real quick, I got a note uh, from our support staff. Um, We had an update that was happening to our network system earlier today. Some plugins were being added and changed and modified, and that caused the system to go down for a few hours. So if you can't get into your system or couldn't at one time, you can now. So uh, I did get a... Um, a note there to, to make sure people know that your site system software is back up, but it was down for about an hour or two just to do some updates and things like that. But when we get back, we're going to get into how you can make $5,000 or more a week using mobile marketing and uh, some simple strategies that we offer. I'm going to be sharing about what I do. And we also have got a fun new segment. Well, it's not a new segment. We're, we're bringing it back. It's a revamp segment. <laughs> it's, a revamp segment. it's one of my favorites. Uh, I don't know if anybody else enjoys it, but uh, Reagan. As long as you enjoy it, that's all that matters, right? Reagan, <laughs> Reagan said, I can tell you spent a lot of time on that. <laughs> he, he, he could tell that I, I was enjoying it. But we'll be back right after this. You know, if you've ever listened to my podcast, you've heard me say it a thousand times. Earners are learners and leaders are readers. If you want to go to the next level, you do have to grow to the next level. And growth happens by the people you hang around and listen to the most. Seth Grodin says you're the sum total of five people you hang around the most. And that is why you need to go to terrywilson3.com slash free book and get a free audiobook just to try out the services. Here's the deal. Over 70,000 different authors from every type of genre that you could think of. Go over there. Pick one that you like. Something that's going to inform you. Something that's going to inspire you. Something that's going to illustrate what you you need to do next try out the service if you don't like the service cancel it and you get to keep that free audiobook but you're going to love the service and i promise you if you will commit yourself to listening and learning from those who have gone where you want to go you can go there also so go to terrywilson3.com slash free book today try out the service and get a free audiobook just for trying it out terrywilson3.com slash free book Have you ever tried a work from home business? If you have, you may be like several others. Matter of fact, 98% of people, according to Forbes magazine, who've tried and failed. Why? Well, there's several reasons, but the main reason is because most home-based businesses have no means, method, or mechanism for you to get in front of people who need, want, desire, and can afford what it is you offer. See, the unique thing about TerryWilson3.com is we put you in a position where if you can simply answer a phone, read a script, you can make money. And I'm not talking about going and selling pills, thrills, lotions, and potions. I'm talking about selling something that every business, everyone who has a product, good, or service needs. And that is a lead generation marketing system. But here's the cool thing. You never cold call. You never have to recruit your friends, family, and foes. You simply take a call, read a script. Want more information? Go to terrywilson3.com slash call center right now to get more information. That's terrywilson3.com slash call center. All right, all right, back in the saddle again. So listen, guys, if you want to win that two-night, three-day vacation, get some shout-outs in. If you want to win up to $300 in free food tonight, all you have to do is share this podcast, and it's so simple to do. All you have to do over at YouTube, there's a little share button. Just click share, pick which social media outlet you want to share it on, and put the hashtag tw 3 podcast. 357, because that's this episode. Tonight, we're talking about how to make money using just nothing more than a mobile phone and why your customers, your clients, the people that you want to reach, that's where they're at. Uh, 75% of people are no longer on laptops and desktops when they're looking at a landing page, when they're looking at a, a blog. They're actually on a smartphone somewhere. But before we get into that, Reagan, what kind of shout outs do we have? Let's see here. Got a full list. Got a full list. I was trying to copy and paste the last one. Okay, here we go. Uh, first one from Gary. I uh, would like to welcome new members Justin Glaser, Okit Lino, Nicholas, David Roach, uh, Blake Parker, Denise Holiday, Matt Nori, Steve Ritter. All uh, are all new members. So he wants to give a shout out to them. Well, welcome aboard, guys. Man, you guys uh, just came on. I know Gary's had a ton of new clients just come on with him in the last week. And uh, I welcome aboard. You guys are with a wonderful trainer. Uh, follow Gary's lead and he will take you to the promised land. 
Uh, Kristen wanted to shout out Ron Bam Bam. Always Bam nice. Bam from the left coast. <laughs> Always a shout out for Ron. Uh, th- this is uh, from Justin. Uh, I joined with Gary Green today, and I'm now part of the Elite Package team. A little bit about me. Uh, no limits. Mindset, always thinking outside the box. This is who I am. Awesome. That's awesome. Cool. Well, you're going to fit right in if that's who you are, because uh, we like people that want to go to the next level and don't like limitations. Uh, so absolutely. So if you want to share that podcast, uh, thank you, River or Reagan, whoever put that in. Yeah. It's a hashtag TW3 podcast at uh, 357. Hashtag TW3 podcast 357. And uh, if you like and uh, leave a comment over at iTunes or Stitcher, either one, uh, give us some positive feedback there. We'll put you in a, a drawing. We gave a $50 gas voucher away last week. Uh, and we'll give another one away in the coming weeks. Now, this is going to be our last podcast um, for this month because next week we're that's right we're prepping for the conference, and and then we'll have that conference all weekend, and we're not going to be able to prepare for another show that coming Monday. So uh, this will be the last podcast for. I was going to ask you, have we we hadn't even talked about are, are we thinking about doing something live at the conference? Well, we did last year. We did do that last year. I've got something I've got planned maybe for a few of my elite members mm-hmm. uh, that I've already reached out to them. Um, it actually involves maybe coming back here oh. and sitting in the studio with me oh. and, and doing something. But we oh. got to work out the logistics there. I don't know if that's going to be possible or not. All right, all right. But I'm not committing to that. Well, I think it'd be cool to do something. I don't well, way to tease what. everybody. No well, way to tease everybody hey. here. You got to be ELT, and then there's going to be some other requirement because not every, all of them could come. No, no. So yeah, so I, like, I like what you're thinking. Uh, so we're we're, we're working on a little bit of thing there. So we'll we'll see if uh, we can do that. And at least sit over there beside Lindsay and talk about CBD oil. Or <laughs> I Why can bring some. Be her? <gasps> or I, you? I, I oh, have yeah. some that I'm about to um, make. I got no, some. You don't. Don't you got some marijuana that no, you're going to no, no, turn no. into CBD oil. <laughs> no, no, no. I have a friend who made <laughs> the distillate. Sure. I'm sure. I know a and guy. So I'm going to make it so somebody could come over and so I could share. Here's, here's, <laughs> so here's the thing. In South Carolina, marijuana is still illegal. <laughs> CBD Listen, oil is legal. Hemp-based CBD oil is legal, and that is what yes. I use, and it's she all She got into this with Michael <laughs> last oh, week. Oh, and, and I'm, I'm I embarrassed just kidding. I know myself about so it. bad. You don't know uh, about Okay. I don't even know. I, you know, I've smoked marijuana when I was a kid. Kid, you, did you years Did ago. you inhale? I did. No. <laughs> so you can't be president. Yeah, and it was once laced with cocaine, and I do not recommend that. <laughs> oh, Ooh, mercy. True story, true story. Well, that's too much information. 16. I was, that was 30 years ago. I'm, I'm you can't hold that against me. That's in my Well, past. you could, but you're just an idiot. I like how there's no hesitation either. He's like, oh, I did. I did for sure. <laughs> totally. And by the well, way, I mean, guys, I'm not bragging about it, but I am bragging. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what was you saying, Pastor Chris? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said. Yeah, it's been a long time ago. The Lord do forgive. I don't want to follow up all these shout outs say, with I inhaled and it had a lace of cocaine. That wasn't my fault. But at the same time, I mean, I felt like out. I was in heaven a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, for real. Oh yeah, we, we're not advocating anything. No, by the way, I'm guys. joking. He's I'm joking. joking. I'm not joking joke. about smoking when I was a kid, but I am all the... He, he has a testimony, <laughs> as we say in the church world. <laughs> <laughs> the boy's got a testimony. Well, shout outs real, quick. real quick on the shout outs. Keep going. going. Keep right, going. So this one's Thanks for saving us. I don't know about that. He said, uh, hey, Gina, Charlotte, Tom, A.G., Shane, Steve, and James, uh, Ty, Noel, John, Chris, and Chuck. Ron's got some friends is all I'm saying. Ron's. Ron's when he said like Chris, it. was he referring to me? No, definitely not he you. He didn't no, give me a shout out. not you. No. Yeah, I can assure you it wasn't you. Uh, Joel <laughs> wanted to shout out Ron as well. So, And then uh, last but not least, Gary had a couple more shout outs. Um, hi, Larry, Jane, Laurie, Kamaya, Kelly, um, Chris. Welcome. Glad to see you here. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. And we can just say your Chris was your Chris. So. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give out a shout out to myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you no, no, no self shouting out. That's, that's that's wrong. I want to give Hello. a shout out to all the stay at home moms watching tonight. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's in a different segment, there. And then I thought, is that a prep? Is that a no, prep? that's just that's just my heart right now. Sure. That's just her heart. That's just had prequel. to express what's on my I heart. <laughs> Careful what's on I, your heart. I got a all. testimony, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, your testimony's got to be behind you. You can't prepare for it. I'm going to need some forgiveness in about five minutes. Well, I had a oh, test I'm do today, some stuff but I'm going to turn it into a testimony. <laughs> good night. Oh, my word. We speak Christianese so good. Yeah, I'm telling here. you, 
it's the southern it's the southern way you know I, I tell people all the time down south you can say some of the most ugly things as long as you say bless your heart bless after, your heart bless your heart bless. she dumb as a brick bless her heart but jesus loves her <laughs> <laughs> i mean just say some ugly stuff about uh, people but you just put it in so uh, I had to share this podcast with my Twitter followers. Well, thank you so much, Justin. We appreciate that, and we hope you win the three hundred dollars in free food tonight. But thank you for sharing that. Absolutely, Reagan. We have any more shout outs? No, I think that was it. Okay, okay. So, uh, Chris, give us some updates on the conference so the people know uh, that, right. that we've got a few seats left if they want to get in while they fit in. Uh, well, first of all, I have some shout outs. Do I get my shout outs? <laughs> okay. Well, you can't uh, shout out yourself. You can't no, shout I was out yourself. About that one, but. Uh, I got my man Mike on here who's going to be at the conference next week. All Woo-hoo! right. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, I just got that text, literally. Um, and he said, yep, Chris, what a testimony. <laughs> 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 that wasn't the testimony part. Yeah. That, was, uh, that wasn't the most spotted part of his bad. <laughs> that's the, the bad part of the testimony. Um, there's some good after it, but not a lot. Uh, <laughs> just a little. <laughs> then, uh, Chris shout, believes in grace. I got, I got a new guy I met today. Super nice. He's on tonight, Nate. And, Nate. Um, All right. Super excited about hopefully him getting on board. And now, what, so is, what does Nate there. do? Or how did you meet him? Uh... On the phone call. On the phone call. Yeah, he was the guy that I got through one of my leads. He's okay. One of my leads. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. And I don't know yet. Uh, he's a truck driver. Yes. Oh. He okay. So truck. he's the one. I tell you, this business is perfect for truck drivers. Well, it's a good transition because a lot of those calls he can make while on the. Oh road. yeah, you're driving and you're talking on the phone. I mean, it, it's I've, you know, several years ago when I was doing this like nonstop. This is all I did was sell TW three. Uh, a great market that just really enjoyed this was truck drivers because it allowed them to basically double dip. You're, yeah. you're making money right. while you're rolling, mm. but you're also right, making right. money while you're talking on the phone. You know? Interesting. Well, he had an interesting idea. This might help somebody else. So what he's thinking about is he has a family member who's available at home and during the day and at a computer. Yeah. They would do a lot of the setup. And then all he ads, does is do, like that. absolutely. And then he would be doing the follow up while he's on the road. So Perfect. It's a, a really good idea. I thought it was pretty creative. I've had a lot of clients who were Uber drivers, truck drivers, oh, yeah. and different people, and they got off the road that because that was their heart. That's what they wanted to. Right. Uh, by using TW3. Wow. So that's cool. That's good. Now to the conference. Yes. Um, so um, the conference is happening. Yes. And I think we're pretty much locked in on everything. Food is closed. There is no more lunches. That's done. Yeah. Um, and we got all the stuff ordered and we're ready to do what about this. The, what about yeah. the cocktail? I know we had a. We do have a cocktail hour, but yeah. that is now full. Oh, okay. So um, cool. Gotcha. So all that's done. Am I? That's part done. Of that? did, I, did I get out? I that? didn't get invited. I did not invite you to it, but I'll tell you yeah. what we're going to do just for you because mm-hmm. there'll be a lot of people that really only want to just talk to you. We're going to let well, you in. There's going to be a lot of disappointment. But you're going to have to blow what we're saying. <laughs> well, let's do A lot tell of people them. need let to me, aim higher. I'm just <laughs> let me go ahead and prepare you guys. So, <laughs> you, you, but you'll have to buy your own drink. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Ah, I got you. We're not going to buy it for you. No, it's it's going to be a blast. And we uh, we do have a few spots left. So, if somebody wants to jump on um, last minute, uh, let us know. That's going to be awesome. Peace out. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a great time. Uh, a lot of great people, you know. Captain Quackenbush said it the, the best. You know, some things are, are are taught and some things are caught. You know, the back office back there where all those videos are, ticket support, the weekly training, that's a lot of teaching. We give a lot of teaching, a lot of training, trying to show you illustrations. We got PDF files. And that's all great and, and it's wonderful and it works. But getting around the people that are actually putting feet to these principles and these strategies, seeing them do it, seeing them make tons of money doing it that just it, there's something that happens then when people are around it and i don't say it to just sell the conference it's it's true last year out of 25 people that came 23 of them just yeah. took off right and and we've talked about it before and and we've said a lot of things off camera off off air that uh, we probably wouldn't say on air but i will say this much as far as you know this is not my my personal strong suit and that's why you came on because this is your thing. This is your wheelhouse, all this administrative stuff and, and organizing this kind of thing. But if it was just to be done because we enjoyed it, you know, probably wouldn't do it, but it was just so lucrative for so many people. Right. Uh, and that will get us into our, our uh, upcoming segment because someone said something I just thought was, was goofy and I'll, I'll respond to that a little later. But uh, so many people got so much value out of it. it. It was just wonderful to see, you know, we had uh, Mark came in 
fighting cancer, fighting all these things in his life. Uh, only made a, a sale or two before he got there and then took off. Gary was like a rock star there. We had, you know, groupies following him around saying, how's this guy? Cause you know, every time sure. you remember that, I mean, yeah. he was at the bar and people's like, what, what are you saying? What are you, saying? <laughs> you know, just right. watching, watching him work. And, uh, you know, a couple of them said, man, it just looks so easy. And I said, well, he's good. You know, yeah. and people that are good at their craft, right. You know, Michael Jordan made basketball look good, but try. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably inappropriate to put Gary and Michael Jordan in the same <laughs> conversation. <laughs> not that Gary's not a great guy, but so, so, yeah. Michael Jordan. Go yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, okay, that's true. There might be a different analogy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's, it's like LeBron well, Michael and Jordan Gary. stands getting well, up here. Well, 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 well. <laughs> LeBron's not that great anyway. <laughs> He's not a target. Uh, we're messing with you, Gary. So wait, you don't Gary, we love you. I'm going to turn my entire panel into a LeBron <laughs> segment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, we, this brings us to our... Stuck on Stupid. You can't fix stupid. I missed that one the first time. <laughs> I didn't even hear it. I don't. That's pretty bad. I love that. But that's good. It's bad good, I guess. What, what we want <laughs> to convey here, folks, is we don't make fun of people. <laughs> but we do make fun of some behavior, okay? Because they're all God's children. I mean, <laughs> but sometimes people will do, and you know, and you know who you are, by the way. You know if I'm talking to you. <laughs> Ron said, Ron said, hey, who said you could play my song? <laughs> <laughs> to give you the rights to that. <laughs> but there's sometimes that we all can just fall in, you know, doing goofy stuff. And so, um, uh, that brings me to, um, I, uh, <laughs> I had a email come through and, uh, a little snarky email that says, you're the only one, uh, making money at TW3. I don't know why you keep sending out these emails. No one can make money. Doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I says, well, why don't you just come to the podcast Monday and just listen to other folks and watch the chat and see if anyone else, cause the other thing is. I mean, I, the way I make my money is that other people, I, I don't make money if other people aren't making money. Mm -hmm. This business collapse, mm -hmm. folds up and goes away if other people aren't finding success with it. So I was like, mm -hmm. you're stuck on stupid, aren't you? I'm not going to be <laughs> able to help you, am I? Uh, but, uh, you know, I say that because you're going to have, you know, my members out there that you're talking to people in the highways and the byways that, thinking, you know, everything that's ever presented online has got to be a gimmick, a game, a scam or something. You're going to find those and, and just dust your sandals and keep rolling. You know, if, if they're reasonable people and you can say, no, look here, because I want everybody to be skeptical. I don't mind skepticism at all. I think you, it's wise to have healthy amounts of skepticism because people tend to say anything nowadays in this world. But just to come right off the bat and start calling names and stuff like that, uh, you you might be looking at the very thing that could set you free and turning it away. So uh, that uh, that's someone I just don't know yeah. if they're going to be able to make it in life. Well, they may not. They wouldn't have. They wouldn't have made money in this business. No. <laughs> and, and that's awesome. You might not be able to make money, but trust me, there's a ton of people. Yeah. And you know, it reminded me of a friend out of um, high school. We went to high school together, and I went into music, and he did something else, and then we sort of rendezvoused back. You know. Years later, and uh, I went into insurance, and I, I told him, I said, "You ought, no, I wasn't trying to. I didn't get paid to recruit him. I was just he was needing work, and and uh, was a decent salesperson. I said, you ought to try insurance. And he he went and got his license and took the test and everything, and then never did anything because his dad said insurance is a scam. No one ever makes money in it. Uh, and I was like, have you ever noticed when you go into any major city? the biggest buildings in those cities are either owned by banks or insurance companies. It's true that. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes people can get talked out of something that, uh, you know, might be the very opportunity that they need uh, just because they're so cynical on life. And that's sort of sad and gets them a, a little jaded. Reagan, you said you saw something in the news that I thought was pretty funny. Oh, I did. Um, let's see. Let me pull up the article because the headlines really what makes it. <clears throat> Well, there are actually two, but I won't do the, the Freddie Mercury one. <laughs> the Freddie Mercury one's hilarious. I you got to tell that one. Right, we'll you? do that one next. But the first one was uh, Baby Not On Board, plane, plane Forced to Turn Back After Mother Forgets Her Newborn at Airport. 
How newborn. mad? It's newborn. Newborn. How mad would you be if your plane had to turn around because somebody else forgot to pick up their baby along with their luggage? Well, I'm assuming she was arrested. I, I, I mean, I could go into this. There's no way you'd have. They have. They have an actual. So this is in Saudi Arabia, which I'm not making a comment, but I just. So how do you, Saudi Arabia, I guess. I don't know. Do, now I can I can see forgetting a child that can walk, <laughs> and and you've got four or five Listen, that I've, you're trying I've to keep. I've tried up. to forget three or four of mine, but, they but, but here's the funniest part. Around. But a baby, <laughs> we could figure out how to link this because there's actually a video uh, now, a video of the pilot requesting air traffic control <laughs> operators to return to the airport right, because that. they give the <laughs> they give the extra. Uh, we left a baby there. <laughs> a woman has forgotten <laughs> yeah. her baby. Which, I mean, all sympathy, like, that's horrible. I mean, how many kids did she have? Like, because that's another thing. It's a baby. It's an infant. I feel like if I had twins, babies, there's a chance. No. Look, the only time you would... You you would forget a baby? I mean, like, if I was a Dugger. Okay, I love the (laughs) Dugger. I love the If I had 42 kids and counting... I actually hear her point. If I was a Dugger, I'd be like... like, I have It's a miracle we didn't forget Well, because one of the kids are going to pick up the baby. Yeah, yeah, statistically, it's actually well, that's one what of the I'm other saying. If, you, if it's a big family, because we yeah. we left Gabby one time <laughs> at the fair, but, but you that did was, that on oh, purpose. Mercy. But the, yeah, it was done. No, but that was an accident. It wasn't like the time we left River, and that was on purpose. <laughs> Somebody turned him back. So. <laughs> no, I mean, I when I and first heard like, the story, I, I was horrified. <laughs> I was, but then the more I think about it, like how many kids were there? Because I've always like Wells and Carrington are eighteen and a half months apart, and there have been many times when I've been like if i had one more i'd be completely screwed mm. yeah well like when you outnumbered. have a lot of kids i can see that but one child now if you just forgot baby, one then we need to talk and, and, and i'm trying to think of the decision process i got my night sack and it just seems like i was carrying something else in this hand <laughs> I, like when I, forgetting something. I got oh, my diaper no. bag i got my baby carrier i got my I got the diaper bag i got yep. a car seat all right let's go and i was like it just seems like Wait i'm forgetting minute. something well think yes. about it too how long are you yes. actually like on the like you don't just get on an airplane and take off right away. There's like 15, no. 20 minutes of yeah. like you're waiting around and then true. That baby was left on purpose. I must have been a crier. Is all I'm saying. Right. Well, listen, Wells right. had colic eight hours a day. It was screaming time. It was like, there was there was some guilt midair. Is really what I'm seeing here. I would never have left him, but I did call my mom and say I need you to love him right now, and I'm gonna go run, and I don't know when I'm <laughs> oh, gonna be back. Word. You know what we did when our kids had colic was we gave them a little bit of CBD oil. <laughs> listen, if I had known, we did rub whiskey on his gums. Oh, oh God. dear Lord, that is, that is yeah, for teething. For teething. Lindsay, the I don't police are gonna be at your house. Us before this podcast they better not be that's the best thing for a baby yeah. i mean we gave our kids uh, alcohol as well to help them sleep but i would never say that on a podcast i have given my well, oldest child alcohol but that was when he was 21 you know oh mr then, holy yeah. over here and then he had yeah, i will for. say i just want to go out on a limb and just say i was just joking because somebody's gonna think i gave my kid alcohol. when did you give him uh, justin wants to know if you gave him a maker's mark Justin? That is just uh, that's hilarious. Oh my word. Uh, oh goodness. All right. Last one was uh despite death of Freddie Mercury at the end of Bohemian Rhapsody sequel being discussed. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I'm just gonna ask this question. You've read this a few times now and beforehand. <laughs> it's funnier every time. I know, but I don't think I get it. <laughs> Wait, I well, had the fact that he's time. dead. Well, okay, Freddie so you know Mercury died. I know he's dead. Yeah, but the movie Bohemian Rhapsody that just yeah, came yeah. out, they're discussing a sequel. They're the discuss- joke is he's dead. Like, so how would you do a sequel? He, die in the movie? Like, he well, died in the first movie. Childhood or something. I don't know. It seems to be. It'd have to be a prequel. <laughs> prequel. <laughs> okay. Wait, so he's okay. real life alive? No. Freddie yeah. Mercury died. It's That's the, the lead singer of Queen. I don't Queen. even know this movie we're talking about. Bohemian it's Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody is about Freddie Mercury and Queen. We are the champions, my oh, friend. I won a state championship. I know that song, but I, I don't know the history behind it. Well, like, the lead singer was like, he had, he, he was HIV positive. He died of But he had like a three and a half octave range. Incredible oh, wow. vocalist. That's epic. And uh, had an overbite that was epic. I mean, you would think with that kind of money, you would fix it. And they, yeah. he could have, but he was scared it would change the tone oh. of his oh. vocals. Interesting. But he was, uh, what's the best way to put it? Very flamboyant. Okay. And he was. uh he was. And he 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 caught the uh hiv. He got the hivs mm-hmm. and uh and died of it. Hmm. Mm. That's sad. But they're gonna do a, a, a sequel? That was a joke. That's what well, the, the, the joke is died. why are they I feel like <laughs> <laughs> And here's the sad see, part. See Lancy, the way it works is the man died. How do you do another movie about Well, they could talk about his mama. And here we are, <laughs> me and you over here and we can't figure out 
What the oh. Okay, you have a real something that's actually funny? <laughs> I thought that you was got something funny. kind of funny. I don't know Which one? Funny. The 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 grammar Nazi? Yeah, you gotta read that. All right, real real quick. I'm just we've got some uh comments where you can send in all your questions. We're going to get to them at the very end. We collect yeah. them, and then we just knock them out one by one. So I don't want anybody to think that we're overlooking Yeah, we're not ignoring questions. your questions. They're, they're sort of... We like to grand. build them up. Yeah. That's right. That's the right. anticipation that really makes yes. sense. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. All right. So, uh, yeah, I had... Um, the, the, I did a blog, and I don't do a lot of blogging just because I realize, you know, if you think I speak in bad grammar and bad syntax, mm-hmm. you ought to see me write. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. Uh, you know... Yeah. <laughs> my, no. Anytime I write anything down, it is a it is a Trevor tro- trove, if you will, of people that That's want treasure. To, by the way, treasure. Thank you, <laughs> thank treasure you. Trevor. What did I say, Trevor? Trevor. I, don't, I don't think <laughs> See, Trevor exactly. Had I can't speak. I can't write. It's amazing. I make a living here. Well, it's just it's ironic that you're doing this while you're getting ready to talk about it. Well, no, the best was the last time we talked about it. Our show notes. He was talking about. <laughs> he said he was like. This is something that I can be vulnerable about because vulnerable. And he said, I'm, I'm not gifted in this area. And I said, I'm going to say something in love. <laughs> you misspelled vulnerable. You misspelled it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and the only reason I bring this up, guys, is because we've got so many members who are entrepreneurs that are just starting their online journey. And one of the things I, I just try to live my life in the open a little bit so you guys can say, see, okay, Terry gets beat up on as well, so I shouldn't feel so bad. I posted a blog the other day, and the title of it was, was Meeting People Where They're At, mm-hmm. which is what? It, it's a it's, se- it's not It's not appropriate sentence. It's not appropriate. Why? Because there's something going on. The at can't be there. Yeah, a so preposition it's, at it's, the end. It's a, a preposition at the end. Well, I got this lady that just writes me this scathing thing. You know, you never end mm-hmm. a sentence with a preposition. You know, and I should write like I'm trying to fill out a resume, wanting people to hire me and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, she was trying to, in her words, offer constructive criticism. And I've always said, well, for someone to be able to offer constructive criticism, the first prerequisite uh, that they have to meet is they have had to have constructed something. (laughs) Because if you're broke, busted, and unemployed, and you're Mm -hmm. coming to me looking for ways of earning money, and you're getting tripped up over a a common saying mm-hmm. well that's the problem it's actually not inappropriate if you n- can do that if you're using a figure of speech <laughs> a figure of speech <laughs> christopher yeah. says english teachers need not apply <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> they, they, they can do it too they can t- but i thought i said they just need to relax a little if bit. <laughs> you value grammar more than you value on the <laughs> how to earn money then you're going to, to i says i'm not your guy i can yeah. teach you how to make really right. good money Working from home, using these tools, I can do that as long as you can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, which is a challenge sometimes. I get that. <laughs> but if you're wanting to learn proper English, go to the library. Right. You know, because I'm not your thing. So okay. I say all that just to say, you know, guys, when you're out there, because a lot of times I'll ask people, why don't you blog more? Why don't you create your own podcast? Well, and then they give me their reasoning, their rationale. Mm. I was like, look at me. <laughs> I got a face for radio. I speak like I came from the deaf culture, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. I said, amen. Sorry, I was away from the mic. Yes. I wasn't hiding. I was just leaning back. <laughs> Low key, amen. So what's it? This segment's called what? Again. At the end of the congregation. This, I was this in the back. was called. Stuck on stupid. Okay, so I, I would like to uh, cut it off. I would like to just state the obvious about what just happened. What just happened? Uh, what just happened? This is from my. My humble. My seat. My love over here. So we're talking about this lady mm-hmm. who was being critical of your grammar. <laughs> Aren't we being a little critical of the critical lady? Absolutely. And that's grammar. totally acceptable. <laughs> but that's far more acceptable than the other one. Mm-hmm. And then to make it worse, because we see him being, being critical of you being critical of her being critical. But the difference is self Everyone's a hater. <laughs> What's that? We, Everyone's a hater. Everyone's a hater. So there's a funny. Well, line we with didn't that write too. an email. That's. I think that's. If you, okay, couple of thoughts that I have. <laughs> if you write a blog, you do open yourself up to that. You do. Like yeah. plain and simple, you're gonna get some comments that are encouraging, and you're gonna get some that are discouraging. Right. Um, 
for her to write an email is one thing, you know, if she just couldn't let it go, like, <laughs> hey, I really love I what you're it. doing, and I would love to see your organization strengthened through a little bit of correction. Right. If it came from a loving place, maybe that'd be one thing. Listen, I welcome that stuff all the time. I, and and Reagan and I will be like, hey, you should let us proofread for you. We would love yes. to do that for you yes. because we have a relationship with you, right. and I feel like if you have a relationship, you have the permission to speak into somebody's weaknesses. Um, yes. However, if she wrote an ugly email, like, come on. Well, there's also this website called Grammarly.com. <laughs> you can use seriously. It is. Free read one. everything. And it's, there's a free version and whatever. So if you don't want everybody to know right off the bat, you're stupid. Yeah, I could which do is what that. I do. You could. Because I could do that. I'm pretty I bad use that too. a lot in grad school. But see, my, uh, my, but then they hear me. And but then it hurts my <laughs> brand because my brand is good old boy that can't string two words together but still makes money. <laughs> yeah. Because I want people to. You understand. can too. You can if I can do it. What's your excuse? Anybody can. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, you know that's the whole point here. Well, guys, when we get back, we're going to be talking about how you can make tons of money with mobile marketing. How we use it at TW3. I've been using uh, some new strategies that I've taught my members in the last couple months. Uh, uh, if you guys have just joined TW3, go back into the webinar trainings, uh, membership trainings in your back office. You're going to see uh, some things I'm showing about text marketing, how to use text to do follow-up and stuff like that. I've been using it very effectively in the last uh, couple months and really seen a spike in my open rates on email and conversion rates as well. And that's what it's all about. If you've got a product or service that you're trying to get out in front of the people that need, won't, can afford it, then how do you do that most effectively? Well, the numbers bear out. People have mobile phones on them on average four and a half hours a day. And if you can reach them with this uh, various technology that we have, then you can be wildly, wildly successful. So when we get back, we'll open that up right after this. So there's two things that I use on a daily basis to make more money, make more sales. Because I have learned over 20 some odd years of being an entrepreneur is most people do not make a significant purchase the first time they hear about it or even the second time. As a matter of fact, it normally takes six touches, six encounters with a client before they will ever decide to pull the trigger on anything. How do you scale a business if you can't automate that process? One of the things and tools that I use is AWeber, which is an automatic email marketing system. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial by going to terrywilson3.com slash AWeber. That's terrywilson3.com slash A-W-E-B-E-R, AWeber, and try their services out. I think you're going to really like it. And if you decide to keep it after 30 days, they'll give you a discount for using that code. Go to terrywilson3.com slash AWeber right now and put your marketing and your sales process on autopilot. And now back to our show with sure Terry Wilson. <laughs> keep it relevant, keep it positive. <laughs> keep all the comments relevant, positive, on topic, and funny. Funny <laughs> Do what? That's all I care about is funny. Yeah, funny just make sure it's funny. <clears throat> all right. I'm having to figure out how to look at you and mix behind me at the same time. Don't look at him. Yeah, just don't look at me. That's a bad idea. That's why. I, I was like, why would I'm, you ever do that? Why am I There's... looking at you? Well, we don't look at the back of your head either, so I see what Well, you're... that's what I'm saying. I don't want people just looking at the back of my head. I love the new layout. It's just I'm having to get used to the way everything is set up because I'm I'm not used to mixing with my left so hand. So you're not bringing out your desktop? Huh? You're not bringing the desktop back? No, it's going it's going upstairs. Your mom wants it. So you're just going off the I'm laptop. going just laptop. All right. Mm. Yeah, because it's a lower profile and I can see you got you guys. Now, there. I'm not saying you need to do anything. Okay. But if I gave you a really good budget, I could build you a really, really nice I'm PC. I'm not getting no PC. That, not only that, would match your lights in the back. It would look super nice. It'd make you look super professional. Well, if you'll notice on camera, my computer's not even on the screen. I'm just saying we could have you like a water-cooled PC in the back. <laughs> you dude. don't need no PC. What does PC stand for? Piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a PC guy, but personally, I thought I'd yeah. throw that softball out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just want them to he, spike something. You knew I'd go for it. I'd swing yeah, if you gave it to him. Boy, did he ever. Yeah, that's that's him. So what is mobile marketing? 
Uh, a lot of times when you talk about mobile marketing, people just assume that you're talking about just straight up text and text is part of it, but it's not the only thing that uh, comprises of mobile marketing. Uh, there is text. There's also email that is um, mobile friendly. There's voicemail drops that I'm using a lot of now, and there's uh, social media push alerts that you can get. Uh, so when you're talking about building a mobile marketing campaign and process, you want to be thinking in those three terms. And what I've been doing, guys, lately is when we have these opt-ins that come through our first page, I've got it synced to a, uh, a texting system as well that automatically sends them out a text that says, hey, I just received this information that you're in and you're asking about. I sent you an email. Make sure you look at your email. It might be in your junk spam or promotional folder. Just doing that has taken, taken um, what would be like 25% open rate and mm -hmm. jumped it to like 70%. Mm -hmm. And wow. so when we talk in TW3 world about, you know, how to make a lot of money, um, you know, the least you're going to make on one of our systems is $750, right? The most you'll make is, well, $18,000 if you're an elite member because you can sell our APS package, right? Mm -hmm. But we our numbers bear out that you're going to make one sale out of 25 qualified leads. Now that sometimes means you can, cause I've seen you make one sale out of 10 mm -hmm. and then I've seen a stretch go where it took 25, you mm -hmm. know, but over time, over the span, you're going to see one out of 25. If you get them qualified, how do you get them qualified? You got to flush them through, push them through that funnel. And the way you do that, the way I've been able to do it is through using these automated tools with the texting because everyone gets text. I mean, it's amazing. 99% of people open up text. Only 2% of people open up an email if they don't recognize. Mm -hmm. I mean, the numbers are horrible. Now, you will get a better open rate than 2% if it's like something immediate. Like, I know to be looking for something because right. I just asked for something right, and they right. said it was going to be sent. But even then, if you're using companies like uh, Aweber, which I we recommend... You can go to terrywilson3.com slash Aweber and get 30-day free trial and a discount on it. But even if you're using uh, those uh, tools like that, you still need something in conjunction that's driving people back. Now, the reason I still – and then you say, well, Terry, why would you just, just do away with email and just use text? Well, number one, text only has 140-some characters, you know, so you're limited. And number two, uh, text can be expensive, you know, where the email is free. So – you want to do that. Am I missing something here? <laughs> no. We're just going back and forth in text. Sorry. Do, do, do I need to stop and just <laughs> no, address fine. something here? Fine. Fine. They're, they're texting. Yeah, don't be texting while I'm talking about texting. <laughs> <laughs> it's rude. Another irony there. And they're only two feet away. <laughs> they're only two okay. feet away. No. Oh, my word. So how is this, how is texting and how is, is mobile marketing used? It's used in different ways. You drive traffic to a page or a phone. And one of the things I love about companies like MailChimp and Aweber and stuff that I'm using is a lot of times, if you'll notice in some of the texts I'm sending out about like these podcasts and stuff, mm -hmm. if you'll notice the link that I'm sending out in those texts, they're actually links back to an email I sent from MailChimp because if you think about it, most of these companies like Aweber, MailChimp, and all these others, they will give you a URL address for that particular email that you just sent right. out to everyone. Hmm. So you can take that long email address, you put it in a, a company like um, Bitly, or mm -hmm. you put it in a company like a Google URL shortener, any, any of those companies, but you take this long URL address, you shrink it down, and then I'll send out a link like when I'm doing invitations to the, tonight's podcast, why recreate the content? Yeah, I could put it on a blog, but why would I? I mean, I've already created it, right? Mm -hmm. So just go ahead and send them a link to that email address. And, and then the links in that email is links to my blog and different things like that. So that's one way I do it. I use it for follow-up. Like I just said, when people opt in, I use it for RMP. Think about this. A lot of times uh, some of our RMPs are referral marketing partners or affiliates. Some of them are CPA offers. Some of them are, um, you know, straight up e-commerce offers. Some of them are different types of offers within our RMP system. A lot of companies, and Aweber is not one of them, but MailChimp is. That's why I don't necessarily recommend them so much. They really frown on uh, affiliate links and various links like that. They, they will shut you down. 
but you can send an RMP link, an affiliate link, a CPA link, or whatever type of link you got. You can send those through text, and there's no problem. Right. Hmm. So a lot of times, I will I'll send out another text three days later and said, I, I'm sure you've gone through the system. If money is an issue, or you feel like you'd like to do this but you can't, you can click here. We can finance our lowest package for as little mm-hmm. as nothing down in twenty nine dollars a month. And I'll send them a link. And then I've driven up my RMP business just doing that. So that's another way to do it and pushing traffic through your funnel. Like I said, number three, uh, who uses uh, text marketing? Anybody. If you got a product, good or service, if you're a retail, if you're a restaurant, if you're a sales professional, if you're an online entrepreneur like we are, it doesn't matter. You need to be using this because all you're doing is another engagement tool to drive people back to that blog, drive people back to that piece of content, that podcast, whatever you're trying to, to offer and get in front of them. Text, 99% of people open a text. So you got to do it. And number four, why should you use it? Because it does engage the client and it does drive up conversions. Like I said, we have members on tonight. I don't know if, if uh, Greenbacks or Jeff uh, or any of these other guys that are having five and ten thousand dollar weeks. I don't know if they've uh, shot, shouted out their their numbers yet, but we've got some serious, serious heavy hitters making lots of money, and part of their strategy is driving people into uh, their funnels and and using these automated tools to to convert. And one of the ways they're doing it is with a smart uh, mobile marketing uh, strategy. So. I, guys, I would tell you, you got to be doing it if uh, you haven't done it already. Keep people engaged. So that's why you should be using it. So, Reagan, what questions do we have that you've had uh, come in while you're over there texting? <laughs> you you <laughs> and Rivers. I was not. Okay. Um, let's see here. I unfortunately put some just comments under questions that aren't questions. So leave me. Uh, first one. <clears throat> I believe this one's from George. Uh, how can I use your TW3 system to develop leads for the AC business? The AC business. Okay. Yep. So, uh, George, I would assume your AC business is you're mostly doing B2C. But whether you're doing B2B or B2C, that we have different marketing tools. We have what's called engagement tools. We have capture tools. We have conversion tools. An engagement tool is something that does the engaging process for you automatically on a large scale. Rather than you picking up a phone and calling people and calling people and cold calling and cold calling, you can use a bulk texter like we were just talking about. You can use a bulk emailer. You can use a system that does what's called voicemail drops. And you leave them a voicemail. You leave them a text. You leave them an email. And you're sending it out to thousands of people. And you might be offering them something for, hey, um, and we do this a lot. So we've got other people that's using our system. You offer them something free. Hey, we're offering a $50 whatever for free just for the opportunity to see if we can save you money on fill in the blank. So there's script development in the back to help you develop a script because you have to have a compelling script. That's part of what we're offering is not only the tools but the training on it. But once you have those, then you're driving that traffic into either um, an extension that we can get you, help you get set up your own extension at a Ring Central account which is a cloud-based uh, phone system, or you can just drive it back to your own mobile phone if you want to expose your mobile phone or a Google line or whatever. But or you can even do a landing page. Or a landing page. That has more information. Exactly. You know, back when I was in insurance, that's that was how I made so much money in insurance is I would call realtors and I would say, hey, this is Terry with 89healthplan.com. You qualify for a health insurance plan for, for as little as $89. Go to 89healthplan.com right now and get your quote coverage and card today if you're interested and they'd go over there and it was a video of me explaining about how this health insurance plan works is it right for you some it would be right for some people some people it wouldn't but you need to decide that if you want more information and would like to get a quote fill out the thing below well, when they filled that out it captured their information so i now captured that lead it then redirected them to my insurance company i was selling for which was assurance health and then uh if they wanted it, they got the quote coverage and card right there. I never even spoke to them. And I just did that wow. on autopilot, you know, mm-hmm. but that, that model works on any business, any business uh, that you, cause it's all marketing at the end of the day. It's just, you know, take out this widget and put in that widget. And the same concept that's for the AC business, but that same principle applies to all of them. 
Yeah. Because Mike is texting me, and he's he's in health insurance. Okay. Insurance. I think it's health insurance, but insurance. Yeah, yeah. Um, he probably has exactly both his health and life. Yeah. Yep. So he, that's the exact same thing. He thinks this, what you're saying is the exact thing he's yeah. put about his situation. So if he, and if, if, you know, when I talk to insurance guys, the thing about, and, and this works in AC, it works in any type of business. There's a teaching I've got as, when you get in your back office and it's the advanced training in step seven. And we did it in our conference and I'll be alluding to it in the conference that's coming up. It's called the PPP. Right. People product process. If you remember that you have to get, it's not enough to say, Hey, I want, leads for insurance right you got to say i want health insurance leads for self-employed not group plans but individual plans you got to get that specific because once i know specifically this is the product that i'm selling then i can specifically target a list of people right right you know what i'm saying absolutely and then once i have a specific targeted group of people i can shape a script that's very compelling but it takes all three of those. And so many times what kills most salespeople, whether it be an insurance, AC or anything else, is they are so broad. Hey, I just want insurance leads. Well, what kind of insurance leads? Well, it doesn't matter. Life, health, car, you know, home. <laughs> right. No, what kind? You, you might be able to sell all of those. You can. But, but if you don't target a specific group, and I think his is exactly what you said, which is funny, health insurance for self-employed. Right. Uh, because they're the ones that. The individual, needed. yeah, you want to, in other words, because most people are wanting to sell individual plans, not group plans anymore. Right. So you want to sell individual. Who are individuals that can afford it? Self-employed. self-employed. Okay. Right. Who are self-employed people? Roofers, electricians. So now you start to target groups mm. where they're self-employed. And if I have a targeted group of people, think about it. Hey, this is Terry. I'm calling electricians here in Atlanta today because you qualify for you see how by getting real specific by the area and by the people, I've got a, a script that right. it's not generic all of a sudden. Right. The reason why voice broadcasting and email marketing and text marketing don't work for so many people is because that script is everything. Mm. And I always tell people, you got to have two things in your script immediately to be um, influential, to compel people to move. You gotta have to have instant rapport. And you have to have instant authority. If I'm just saying, hey, we've got health plans that uh, we could save you. That's nothing. Right. If I'm saying I'm calling electricians here in Atlanta today because I work with them for Century to- or, or, or Whatever Blue Cross Blue Shield. Right. Mm-hmm. I've got authority and I'm talking to people in this area. I'm trying to build rapport. And then, okay, this is for me. All of a sudden their ears perk up because this is not some sort of generic. Right. And then I send them to, a, and if I brand my landing page properly, Go to Atlanta Health Plans for Electricians.com. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You get more credibility. Mm-hmm. You got more credibility, and then it, it resonates with the right people. So that's that people product process. And we go into really, really specific training on that in the back office. That's a great question, Reagan. Uh, next question. Um, if anyone's wanting to join today, how do they get started? You go to terrywilson3.com slash enrollment. Terrywilson3.com slash enrollment. Make sure you put your name of the trainer. A recruiter that you're working with. And if you don't have one, then just put Chris Roop. <laughs> <laughs> put Chris Roop. And, and my then, number is. <laughs> <laughs> just put Chris Roop down if you don't have one, and we'll give it hey, to I'm Lindsay. the best. <laughs> <laughs> I just sat back and waited for it. Uh, there you go. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll get it to. Well, well, then that's a great question because someone asks, because uh, I get that all the time. Terry, where do sales and, and because we get it all the time, where do sales go? that uh, they never spoke to anyone. They just came right off of a podcast or something like that. Cause we get two or three, they go, they go to one of our elite trainers, Chris, Lindsay, and some of the others that we have that we'll, we'll farm it out to them because we want you to have a great uh, trainer uh, to work with. Sure. Uh, next one was, let's see. Uh, you should definitely do some live broadcast from the conference for those of us who cannot make it. So do you have any plans to do that or we we're, we we're talking about it. We don't have plans. We, there's a lot of logistical things and there's a lot of things we're doing at the conference. We just don't know if we'll have time and availability to do that. Uh, we did that last year. What we actually did last year was on the Wednesday night training that we normally have a Wednesday night. We just sat there in the lobby of the hotel and Gary and Mark and Jane and Which Charles cool. and, and a bunch of people just got around the circle and we had our live training right there. And then we had a recording of the podcast and then came back and it was, but yeah. it wasn't a live like this. Sure. 
I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not going to make any promises and I don't want to, uh, you know, set any expectations. I can't feel we are talking to a couple elite members who want to come back, uh, maybe and hang out in the, the room here and maybe do something, record something, or maybe do uh, a live, but we don't even know if we can do that yet just because of time restraints and stuff like that. But, uh, just stay tuned. We'll try to do something to, to, to appease no, not appease, but to satisfy. Cool. Uh, what's APS? APS is our agency platform system. The, the best way to put it is it's taking the entire TW3 marketing system, assets, tools, everything, white labeling it and putting it in the name of another large corporation or business. We have insurance companies, real estate companies that have 100, 200, 300 agents that work within that organization. And they want training that is really specific to their industry. And they're not necessarily wanting training that goes into selling TW3 or anything about TW3. They want it to be about brand X. Well, they can have a system like TW3 that they can set up and do for their, it's sort of like an enterprise system. It's $25,000. Only elite members can sell it. It's an $18,000 payday for elite members. They get $12,000 up front and then another $6,000 over the, the course of the year because that that client is under contract. They have to pay for a year $1,000 a month to keep it active. Um, elite members can sell that, and uh, it's, a, it's a great little pop, a great little payday, and uh, it allows uh, larger companies, sales organizations – Cause I've got people in insurance. I've got people in real estate. I've got churches. Uh, I've got, um, MLMs, you know, people that have their sales organizations, you know, this is our company. And then we've got agents that are working under us to sell our product or service. That's what they, they want to buy. And so <coughs> we offer that. We don't advertise it a lot on these podcasts. We don't advertise it in our store at all because it's sold a little bit differently. And our elite members are marketed a little bit differently than the general public for podcasts and stuff like that. Cool. Uh, this next question, uh, Terry, can you explain how real it is to make 2000 or 5000 per week in our business? This one comes from Gary. It is so real. It's it, Here's the thing, Gary. Well, Gary, you bought it. Okay. <laughs> it is so <laughs> real because here's the thing. One sale is going to net you a minimum of 70, uh, $750. Believe it or not, our plus package and elite packages are our top selling packages. Mm. Yeah. We don't even sell. We I can barely even sell the bottom two. Yeah. I mean, you, Gary, and a few others, I think that's all you sell is elite packages mostly. Now, some people will come in at the bottom and then they upgrade within a month. It happens. Yeah. It happens all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yep. But, but, uh, it is, it, it's not just, uh, realistic. If you, and here's, here's what I would say. If you're out there, you're listening to this. If you credential at the plus level or better, we guarantee you a minimum results provided you guarantee a minimum of activity and type of activity. Right. You know, you put, you put some skin in the game. We put some skin in the game. We guarantee it, or we suspend all admin fees and cost of doing this business until you do get up. Now you don't get a refund. Hear yeah. me now or feel me later. We never, <laughs> cause you're buying digital product services and stuff like that. So you get that out of your head. And if you're in, the, if you're in the mindset that I'll try it for a week or two and if I don't like it, you know, send it back. That's send, not how that it, works. It's not how it works. I'm laughing at feel me later because like you really should read before you sign things because we can't be held responsible for what you sign. You know what I mean when I say that now, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. Hear me now or feel me later because mm -hmm. I, I get in trouble for one reason and one reason only. I do what I say because I, you know, I'm, I'm full throated about the terms and what we do. We in good faith with full heart and intentions, we'll do everything we can to make as many people who want successful. But for that person that thinks that they can just quote unquote, well, I tried and then blame other people. Mm -hmm. This ain't your business. Cause you're going to get hurt real quick. And right. I think too, as coaches, especially elite coaches, we really need to number one, set very clear expectations. You mm -hmm. know, when I'm speaking to people about this, I really want to make sure that they understand that you're not going to just turn your computer on tomorrow and have $5,000 in your bank account. No. Like there's going to be work. And then number two, I think we have a huge responsibility to our members to coach them well. Right. And to, you know, set them up on a coaching plan and right. walk through the steps with them and be, be there. Absolutely. But we do. Yeah, uh, we do. Absolutely. And for those coaches who don't, 
they don't stick around long either because well, we, we don't want them representing our brand. You, Gary, Mark, I mean, Jeff, Trevor, Ron, Ron uh, we got a ton of great, great coaches out there that are doing right. And, and here's just, just to finalize that answer on that question. And I don't know how to say this and guys help me if it comes out wrong. Um, but this isn't one of those types of businesses that when you get in and get going, that you're just going to make a little bit of money. No. Once you figure out what you're doing, once you get going, good. <laughs> you're going to make a lot of money or you're not going to make any money. And I, 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 that might sound bad. I, I, I'm just saying this is not one of those, hey, if, if I, de- because once you figure out your steps one through six mm-hmm. and you get going and then you learn your process and you learn, you're going to make money. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Nobody, you're the big thing nobody too joins is, it and dabbles. It, you're not going to well, dabble. What will happen is, though, it takes a little bit to figure it out. Yes. And, mm-hmm. and for some, some people, people in that process of figuring it out feel like, oh, it's not going to work. But if you'll wait, if you will wait, get over that hump. Yeah. And, and then now you know it. But it, it you don't, it's like anything. You don't play basketball. I can read all the books on basketball. Yeah. Right. But and then you give me the ball and I go out there. It's not like I can. You got to get out there and scrape your knee That's a couple right. times. You yeah. got to do it. But once you do it, I mean, Gary is made good money. A lot of people have made good money. Well, I think a good example uh, would be would be uh, Mark, right? And Mark, yeah. Because, I mean, he started out last he year. He started, so. yeah, because it's not, you know, but we, we, we pick on Mark some uh, just because, you know, because some people say, well, Gary's been with Terry five years. I mean, sure. Know. Okay, let's pick, let's pick someone who's just been with me just less than a year, just a year now. Right. And, I mean, he made 70 grand in just, a, you know, six, seven, eight months. And, you know, on target to make 120 to 140. And he was doing it a while before then. And he was doing it, exactly. And making, not, well, a couple sales. He made a couple mm-hmm. sales. He came to conference. He he got, oh, oh, oh. And then boom. And it clicks. Yeah. And so that's what I'm saying. You know, if you will stay committed to the process and mm-hmm. learn it. Because, you know, I say this and, I, you know, I'm starting to understand why Jesus said, let him who has ears hear. I get it now. Some people just will not hear what you're saying. And you're trying your best to say, this isn't a genie in a bottle. <laughs> this isn't a get rich quick scheme. This isn't, you know, you know, a little dab will do you. This is a proven strategy with proven tools, proven training that if you will learn it and some people get in within a week or two and they're off. Most people it's a month or two, but once you get going and you, Discipline, you know what I'm saying? Which Ron was pretty funny too. He said, uh, "Why not pick on the tech tart instead?" Which I'm assuming he's talking about. <laughs> oh, bam, it, bam, bam, bam! Feel let me, bam, bam. We love him. He's a drummer, but <laughs> we love him because Jesus said you have to love. Him. We don't have to like people. We had not kid. We love Bam Bam and we like him. But you know, Bam Bam was, and he told me up front. He says, "Terry, this technical stuff is wearing me out." Sure, because it is. It's it's a, some of it can be. It don't have to be. But, uh, I mean, it, it, some people just, you've not been around computers. You've not been around some of this stuff. It takes a little bit longer. I get that. And I'm not telling you you have to be a programmer. Guys, you don't have to know code. You don't have to know HTML. Lindsay, what do they have to know at a bare minimum? Because you're not a technical person, but you, <laughs> you do this yeah. business every week and make yeah. money. What, what would you say to that person who's not technical uh, about this business, about online marketing, especially using these TW3 platforms, that would encourage them that it is doable. Don't get fr- don't get yeah. scared away with the tech stuff. I would say you have so many points of support. Um, lean on them. So you have your coach, you have ticket support, and you have Wednesday night trainings where you can get those really complicated things. And then if you're an elite member, you have your one-on-one sessions with Terry where you can work on strategy and ask for clarification. Mm-hmm. Um, You have all these points of support. So I would say do as much as you can on your own. And once you get that foundation built, it's built. Like, and then you just have to have effective discipline in place in your daily life, you know, to organize your leads and follow up with them. Like once you get through it and you wrap your mind around it, it's done. It's, it's but, and I don't, I'm not going to mention, cause I don't want anybody to misinterpret. Uh, Cause sometimes when you do a contrast this business with the other business, mm-hmm. it comes across like you're disparaging the other business and that's not my intent, but right. contrasting this business to other businesses you have done. Mm-hmm. What's the likelihood of this business making a couple grand a week versus others? 
because Gary's original question is speak to the likelihood, the availability, what, how, how confident could someone be okay. about making a couple thousand dollars a week? Um, so for, in my personal experiences, and I love both of the businesses that I do right. in my personal experiences, the amount of time it would take me to make a couple of grand a week versus the amount of time it takes me in this business. There's no comparison. There's no comparison either. There's none. <laughs> I mean, you have to really pedal hard and hustle and most other businesses. Cause think about it. It's just sheer economics. Mm-hmm. You're selling in other businesses, you know, fifty hundred dollar items, yeah, versus a thousand to three thousand dollar items here, right? And so if you are speaking, few, you can sell a lot fewer. <laughs> exactly. Like if you're speaking to the right people, right? Exactly. And you have a good system in place. You know what you're talking about. You're able to speak to their questions and concerns. Then this is a much more lucrative. And that's and I'll tell people that they'll ask me about my other business, and I'll say. I love that. And I have community with these people that have been shopping with me for years. Right. But my energy and focus has shifted and continues to shift to where the money is because ultimately, as much as I love working, and I do, I really, I love working, but I love spending time with my family more. Well, sure. And so I want balance. And so if I can make a lot more money doing this activity in less time, I'm going to spend more of my work time over here. And guys, just so you know, Lindsay works about an hour a day, two hours a day. An hour and a half is my average. And um, she's buying a land yacht with that <laughs> and continues to rock and roll, you know, with just mm-hmm. now. I will say you're a little bit unique in the fact that you are hyper organized and very disciplined with your time. I don't feel like I'm hyper organized. Well, you are. Di- you, you feel like compared I'm hyper- to uh, compared- everybody else on the planet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll put it this way, compared to the average salesperson. Sure. Because the average salesperson is just so scattered brain and they're just off the cuff and doing, Mm. you know, and you are very, okay, I've got this many people, i got to do this. I mean, your spreadsheet. Well, you also don't complicate it. I've seen your spreadsheet. And Mm -hmm. um, that's the key. A lot of people, you know, hyper, people that that, that are really organized can Mm -hmm. sometimes over-organize themselves. Right. Okay. So you're organized to the point of it's it's practical. It gets the job done. Get it done. Right. And I've copied. Yeah, I may, oh, yeah, I may have improved it. <laughs> hey, share there might with me. be some just, areas that were improved. I didn't. I'm just literally doing what you did. <laughs> but honestly, and I mean that's work, what it takes. It does. It does. Yeah. Great stuff. And I'll say, you know, going back to the texting thing, just to build to it, because you we we're talking about the um, using mobile devices. It's the you know, I, um, two years ago, I used a totally different method, and um, using the text first it's uh the response rate is ridiculous so i don't call first no i text first and set up appointments yeah Mm -hmm. um and it has it's a game changer yeah and for the elite members who have that uh booking system what you could do is text your calendar yeah say here's my available times let's book a time let's talk it's a great and let Mm -hmm. them put in the times Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you're not there's none of this back and forth and you checking your calendar and all that you just send them your calendar Mm -hmm. um and then boom you're ready stupid. I didn't do that. I should. I don't know. I didn't think of that. Well, can I say something about that real quick? You can. In the people that I've coached, and you can try it, and you can report back. Okay. In the people that I've coached, um, well, and they weren't texting the appointment. They were having the people schedule the appointment after they walked through the second survey. Um, and I've heard from a couple of people that people were not following through with that very last step, and they were more responsive to the text. So, but maybe if you merge them, maybe if you text them the calendar mm. that could work. But I've been kind of telling people, well, if, if that's not working, maybe people really do just prefer the personality of a text. You know, it's, it's a personal step. Right. An right. Invitation. I agree. So you got to play around with it though. Some people are going to respond differently to different methods. That's and... true. That's true. Well, I end up using all of them. If so, if the first yeah. one doesn't work, we ship to email and then mm-hmm. I'll just say from personal call. experience, <clears throat> if somebody calls me before they they text me, I'm offended. I, I'm like, yeah. why that's would you a, that's do this a generational to me? thing too. <laughs> why would you do this to me? Well, it I'm, is a I'm, generational I'm not thing. young as he is, but I will say, <clears throat> I don't answer the phone. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't, don't either. either. Like, no, if my phone rings, like, I'm like, call, like, what happened? Why would you call Well, you know what's going on? The system that I use back there actually has, the texting system has a voicemail drop for cell phones. You can put a generic, hey, this is Terry. I got your application. I've already sent you a text. Just click on that link when you get a second. I'll talk to you later. And you're sending it out to thousands of people. Hmm. They don't know that. Yeah. 
And so that's a way of just getting it personable so that they don't think, hey, this is some person over in bum, you know what, Egypt. Right. That's just trying to scam me and sell, you know, know this. And it's American dialect and not that that's superior or anything like that. But if you're in marketing, you need to be regional. If you're, if you're mm-hmm. in that, right. you need to sound like you're in that region. So that they, Mark had a good point, too. He said there's no junk folder with text. That's, you've got that right. <laughs> you've got that right, Captain. <laughs> At uh, least uh, right now, I'm sure. Yet. <laughs> Everything shifts. Everything shifts. True, true, true. We're so, going to abuse uh, the texting and they'll come up with some new one. That's right. That's this one comes from uh, old. Joel. Uh, did your lead generating software allow to get real specific, for example, if you're looking for new homeowners in a certain area? Yes. Well, see, here's the thing. Our lead system, our engagement tools um, have all of them, whether it be the voice broadcast dialer, bulk texture, bulk emailer, you have those systems. And then all of them, except the, the dialer, it has the data with it. The rest of them, you have to get the data and you get the data from us and you can put in, I want someone who just bought a home in this zip code. Now it, you might say, I want a thousand new homeowners. And if you put in a zip code of, you know, four city, North Carolina, you're not going to get a thousand people in four city, <laughs> but you know, it, we can spread the map until we right. get, you know, it might be within a 300 mile radius. Right. Of, of that, that we can get new homeowners. So, it, well, you can actually start at a point. You can start and then at a point go out. and go out. But yeah, we can we can filter for that, and then you can text them, you can email them, uh, and if you want to voice broadcast dial them, you can do that as well. Sure, cool. I think we had uh, one more question that I didn't write down. Um, I think I remember it for the most part. Uh, what would you say is the minimum activity for a lot of our members? I think they asked specifically what like membership they were at, but. I would say you could sort of play around with that minimum activity. Yeah. So I would imagine if you're reselling the software, cause it's okay. not just reselling, but if you're reselling the software, what would you say minimum activity? Well, I want my members, their first three months in the business to be generating a hundred leads a week. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then if you're generating a hundred leads a week, you can get anywhere from 25 to 50 qualified leads. Now, how long does it take you to speak to 25 to 50 people a week? Really, that's an hour a day. Right. You know, because I can talk to two or three people, four or five people actually, uh, probably in an hour. So, you I know, think a I, lot of our elite members as well would say at least 100 a week. Yeah, right. Absolutely. And you guys want to know how Mark and Gary and some of these guys are making so much? They're probably generating 100, 200 leads a day. Right. And they're hyper focused on the types of leads and the quality of leads that they're yeah. they're driving as well. So there's a lot of there's a lot of variables to all of this. But until you get your as we call it your C legs in marketing, <laughs> uh, we want you. You know, I always you know I know you, Lindsay, can speak to time better than I can. I don't. I separate it from time and say, activity wise, you need to be getting a hundred leads minimum a week. Now, how long does that take you? It shouldn't take you but an hour a day to do that and follow up. But if you're not technical, a hundred leads a week, a hundred leads a week to, and qualified or unqualified. Uh, well that's 25 to 50 qualified leads. Let's put it that okay. way. I want you to have 25 to 50 qualified leads. Okay. So to place the ad that takes five minutes, five minutes. And then for the leads to start rolling in, you're going to get a big boost in the beginning. First get, two days you're going to get, you know, and then they'll slow it down. So in order to schedule, um, from the last ad that went up for my funnel uh, on Friday, there's somewhere between 25 and 30 qualified leads. And I took today off. Justin was off today. So yeah. when I get in my office tomorrow. Lazy. Yeah. My, I tell you what. <laughs> I was getting my passport. Come on now. <laughs> you mean your mugshot. Your mugshot. <laughs> my, my mugshot. I am an assassin now because they would not let me smile. Um, so anyways, when I sit down tomorrow, I will start with those um, 25 leads. And what I plan to do tomorrow is is do all the scheduling because in order to schedule 25 and usually I try to do it, I schedule it and I speak to them on the same day, but with the huge volume of the ad, um, and me taking Monday off, I will schedule them all on Tuesday and I plan to talk to hopefully all of them by Wednesday. So, and gotcha. then it'll be time for another ad. Which Mark brings up a good point. Uh, he says, can you tell them the difference between 100 raw leads and 25 qualified leads? That question comes up a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So a good distinction. that's a great question. Uh, a, qua- a lead is someone that says, Hey, I've seen this marketing piece, this ad copy, uh, this voicemail drop, whatever engagement process you do. And we teach you to do ad copy first. Cause it's the easiest. 
but they're responding to that and they're uh, they're giving you their name, number, and email address and saying, hey, we would like more information. That's compelling. And so they give you that much. And then you send them information. And in our in TW3 world, we have a series of very short webinars that we want. Uh, we call it our orientation videos. We want them to watch. And what that does is it qualifies the lead for you. So you're not having... If right. one of the great, great things about TW3 is we take a lot of the heavy lifting of selling mm -hmm. off for you. All mm -hmm. you're doing is closing really. Mm -hmm. Okay. The videos are selling it for you. And once you send a hundred people, those three videos on average, you're going to get 25 to 50 people depending on the quality of people you initially targeted. That's why there's a variable there, mm -hmm. 25 to 50 people and your process of following up with text, like I'm teaching but you're going to get 25 to 50 qualified leads. What's a qualified lead? I've watched all these videos. I like what I'm hearing still. And I, I would like to talk to an actual person about this because I think I could do it. Mm -hmm. Then that's a qualified lead. And then our, if you are the absolute worst, if you're Bam Bam, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> was that was a joke, Bam Bam. <laughs> but if, if, you're, if you're, you know, just average at sales, then you're going to make one sale out of 25. If you're a rock star, if you're Gary Greenbacks, you're going to talk to one person and sell three pack. No, <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to close, you're going to close one out of 10 or something like that. You know, you, you, your numbers are going to get better and your conversion well, the rate. conversation too. It, it, the, what's great about it is, is when, when I make a call, I'm not having to explain the system. I might be answering questions, mm -hmm. no, but uh, they've already know it. I mean, they're, they're quoting to me, you know, I was thinking about this package versus that package. You know, you're past, you're past all That's that. That's what a qualified yeah. lead is. It's a qualified. Now they're qualified, and it's just up to you. How do I close to it? To build rapport and authority mm -hmm. to close the deal. Right. That's all it is. And so that's a that's a very, and, and, and not here again, contrasting different business opportunities. What other business opportunity have you ever seen where you're being sent people that are just already qualified? It's it's a good thing. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's a great little deal. So good stuff. Yeah, bam, bam. He says, I got to work on my conversion. Nah, man, just just keep at it, baby. You'll get it. And uh, what does Mark say? Can you tell him? Okay, got that. that. Uh, this will probably be the last one just for time's sake. Um, who closes when you begin and at one point? I would imagine it's what. So who closes when you begin and at what point? Well, you start closing after they fill out that survey. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's your closing process. That's the follow-up process. You know, and that's why I wrote that little ebook that I give, uh, you know, it's like $5. If, if you haven't got that, it's called the art of the, um, not the close or the deal. That's Trump's book. I did the art of the follow-up because, you know, there's a process because a lot of times people want it. It's just, you know, the biggest objection is what money. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's $3,000. I want it. I just ain't got $3,000. And then you try to get them finance and maybe there's a financing issue there, or you try to get their credit, uh, approved, uh, or improved with some of our credit companies that work with them to get their credit improved, but there's that process. And so sometimes it takes, you know, our sales cycle is usually two, three weeks. So from the point of, I want to do it to point of close, sometimes that process can take two or three weeks. It's usually three conversations for me. Yeah. Well, and everybody's different. That's true. That's yeah. true. That's very true. All right. You got it. All right, guys, we're going to take one more break. When we get back, we're giving someone $300 in food we give them $300 in food away, and then we're going to get out of here. I, I hope you, everyone got uh, some value out of this. If you haven't shared this podcast yet, you need to go ahead and share it because we're going through right now seeing who shared this podcast with the hashtag TW3Podcast, TW3Podcast357. That's what you want to share, hashtag TW3Podcast357, and then uh, we will uh, give away some food when we get right back after this. Let me ask you a question. Are you ready to see your business explode in 2019? Last year of March 2018, we had our first conference where we had a small group of 25 entrepreneurs come together. Out of 25 entrepreneurs, 23 of them exploded this past year, and we're doing it again this year, March 21st, 22nd, 23rd, at the Aloft Hotel in downtown Greenville, South Carolina. This three-day event is going to inspire you, it's going to inform you, and it's going to illustrate for you exactly how people just like you are taking their lives to new levels. You want to earn more? You want to enjoy more? Do you want to experience more? Then come to the You Are Worth More conference 
Conference this year, 2019, in Greenville, South Carolina. Register now at worthmoreconference.com. That's worthmoreconference.com. We did have one more question. You had one well, more question. We had one more question. This one comes from Reagan. Who disliked the video? <laughs> what compelled you? <laughs> I felt like this I, was a great podcast. I, I could tell you a couple reasons why I disliked <laughs> the video, but I want to know why they disliked it. <laughs> I've got my own reasons why <laughs> I didn't right, like right. it. Which reason did you dislike the podcast? No. <laughs> yeah. What was your reason? We know why we didn't like it, but why did you not like the podcast? <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get some likes to overcome. The yeah, deck. everybody just overcome some of that dislike by hitting a like down there if you don't mind liking it here on YouTube. We'd appreciate that. So here is the winner of the three hundred dollars in free food. How do you pronounce that last name and how do you spell it? Oh, I only see the first name. I'm gonna leave that you, one to Chris. Chris, how do you spell it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, on the spot. Um, now you're making me nervous. Oh, oh I remember now. It was Glacier. Glacier, Glacier. right? Justin, Justin Glacier. Right. Yep. Can we just right. call him Justin? We know. We, Justin, Justin G. How about Justin. that? All yeah, right, Justin, Justin you have won $300 in free food, my man. So um, what you'll want to do is send me an email over at TW3.com slash contact. Just send TW3.com. TW3. Terry Wilson 3.com. You are struggling. I am wow. struggling. A little intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, I'm about to get Pentecostal here. Terry Wilson 3.com slash contact. It's because it's bedtime. It is bedtime and I've lost an hour. And I've spent, did everybody, does everybody like the new studio? What do you think? They need mm-hmm. to see the wood wall. The wood splash is epic. The wood splash is nice. Did you do this? I like it. It, it, Gina did that for me. Oh, Gina. You said Terry Wilson 3.com slash contact. Terry Wilson so 3.com slash contact. Put, it in there for uh, me. Uh, put that over there and uh, thank you, whoever put that in. Yeah, that was me. Uh, <laughs> so, everybody like the new, the, 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 do you like it? Do you notice your acoustics is better with the wall being wooden there now? You're not bouncing off. She said, sure. Um, of course I noticed. Of course she noticed. Uh, I feel great about it. She said that's the first thing I noticed when I walked in. The, so the thing is you can't hear anything in the room with these headphones on. That's she true. said, I true saw those acoustics story. from a mile away. <laughs> I saw them from my house. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope every, I, we're enjoying it here. I hope everybody, it's, it's, it's clearer for you. I hope the audio is a lot better. We've added uh, several different preamps and, uh, you know, different digital processes here trying to to clean up the audio a little bit get a little bit uh, more professional sounding and trying to make this hillbilly here sound like he knows something i don't know if there's a digital processor out there that can make you sound smart you know i've heard that we just sound real southern (laughs) (laughs) sound like if hee haw had a business program what would it sound like and you keep inviting all these people that we know that are southerners too and so we need to get we need a yankee to come in here is that what's your what's your client up carl Carl. we need carl to come carl when you come down here we might get you in the studio just to chris was saying no No, just round this out a little bit you know if you're above the mason dixon line yeah you you're know. not going to fit in now. Yeah. <laughs> we need someone that don't talk normal to come in here and <laughs> hear the irony there. Yeah. Well, someone who can can talk, it can actually. enunciate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I was told that uh, English didn't sound like my original language, <laughs> oh. and it's true. It? <laughs> German? <laughs> no, hillbilly. I do know. But guys, thank you for hanging out with us. I know we went a little. Man, we went till ten thirty. I was, yeah, that's what I was saying. We had a good <laughs> night. Justin We're just texted me getting longer and longer. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm having a good time over here. here. You know, and I spent, I spent less. Did everybody have a good time? That's the question. Yeah. Just, did we have a good time? Not did you that enjoy one, us yeah. and I disliked it. Carlo D, haven't been called a Yankee in twenty years. Well, I'm sorry, Carlo. <laughs> I, if I offended you, I meant to. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's no. not good. We had nobody saying we had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All don't, right. Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to, Chris. Oh. <laughs> Maya uh, said it was a great podcast earlier. So. All right. Thank well, you. There we go. Guys, I, I, hope you, I do hope we gave you some value, something to go away with, something you're going to be able to use to take your money, business, and life to new levels. Make sure you do like our podcast if you can, just because it helps us in our rankings and uh, helps all of our members. The more we're exposed out there and the more you're contributing, to these podcasts people are going to see you and be able to connect with you hey you know i think mark and greenbacks both have sold uh 
you know, uh, products right off the podcast here because people are connecting with them. Remember, if you haven't gone over to worthmoreconference.com and bought the last couple mm-hmm. tickets we have, we've got two left, uh, worthmoreconference.com. We don't have any more meals left. Is that correct? Nope, they're gone. They're gone, mm-hmm. so we can't do anything else there. But we do have a couple more tickets Yes, that we can get them, and that's going to start next Thursday. A week from this coming Thursday is the conference, and we're going to rock it out here in Greenville, South Carolina. We've got Angela Martin. We've got Jane Helms. We've got Mark Griffin. We've got Greenbacks, the man. We've got Miss Lindsay Taylor. We've got (laughs) Chris, the funny man, and I. They're going to endure me, I think, a couple sessions. They're going to let me. Yeah. And we also got Bill. Bill's not a member, but he's also a great friend of the business, a great mind coach and business coach. He works with the Chick-fil-A Corporation and other companies, you know, and helping their management teams and stuff like that. He's a great guy. We look forward to having him. He is awesome, and he he poured so much value in last year and started a podcast because uh, he says, well, damn, if Terry can do it. And I <laughs> I actually know something mm-hmm. he can speak, so why wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, I think he actually uh, knows what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says his sentence is complete. He he completes no the sentence. No prepositions at the end. No prepositions <laughs> at the end. It's so clear. Do with that. It's amazing. But anyway, guys. Thank you so much. This will be our last podcast for the month of March. We look forward to getting back with you in April. And so sorry it went a little long tonight if we wore you guys out. Make sure you do like this. Share it as many times as you can. We would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, we will see you later. Thank you for listening to our show today at TerryWilson3.com. If you would like more information on how we can take your money, your business, and your life to the next level, then please visit us online at terrywilson3.com or call 800-673-1728. This is the Terry Wilson, really. I'm excited, Terry. I, I want to get started here. Is this a celebrity, Terry Wilson? <laughs> oh, my word. How you doing, sir? Dude, oh, don't, don't even go there. I've been listening to this for a while, and I'm finally like, okay, God, what a privilege. I mean, 